Good morning, everyone. Today we are talking on whether or not uh, the government should make uh, the technology of ectogenesis uh, available to all women for free, and we are strongly opposing this case. Um, first, I would like to start with the rebuttals. I would like to state that um, I would like to show that the government side is contradicting it in themselves. When the prime minister came up and said the policy, uh, if a woman is to have a severe disease, then they can have uh, they then the pro government will provide it for free. But then what they come up and say is that feminism was their argument, and uh, in feminism, the prime minister clearly said that uh, feminism should uh, would be uh, um, uh, introduced because. Uh, then the woman wouldn't have to carry the baby in uh, baby for nine months but uh, they're already talking about people who have severe diseases so either their policy doesn't stand or their argument of feminism doesn't Man, stand. rejected the, the, the first speaker as a client the first speaker already gave that there's this complete freedom to severe diseases of just a case if the, even if the woman wants even if in normal disease this is, should be granted by the government we don't see what is the problem there yes, but your policy clearly stated that so severe uh, people with severe diseases will get preferred uh, references and he only talked about that Mm, so that's why the argument doesn't stand and the policy which our argument should be based on isn't feasible. Um, and also, uh, then they talked about uh, economic disparity, about how um, uh, richer people will do it for free and all that. But what is, what is, uh, how do we know that richer people don't want the help from the government? If, uh, if a rich person wanted the, um, uh, the, the technology, it doesn't mean that they will pay for it. They, uh, according to their policy, if, uh, anyone can go and ask the government to pay it for free. So then the richer people would also be getting it for free. So their economic disparity argument doesn't stand at all. So to reject it, so to uh, clarify on uh, what uh, uh, to reject it, so to extend uh, what my previous speaker said and what I will be saying, um, my previous uh, speaker spoke, yes, about uh, the documents. Yeah, people won't forge documents to have a baby, but people will forge documents to get the help of the government to have a baby. Let's take an example of a disease that's called PCOS, which doesn't uh, allow uh, uh, women to have baby. It's called polycystic ovary syndrome. This syndrome, yes, it's problematic. It won't allow a, a, a woman to have a baby, but it can be treated gradually. It can be treated gradually, but people can use this as an example to say, I have a disease, I'm trying everything I can, the documents say this, 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 and I can't have a baby, so uh, government, would you please fund for me? They can abuse this. And uh, that, uh, I will be showing how that uh, affects uh, the economic uh, instability in my further argument. Point, Rejected. So, uh, talking about uh, my second argument, economic instability. The government will be paying for these uh, technologies, right? So, how uh, the government will be investing what money? Let's take Nepal uh, as a context. We owe millions of rupees to other countries. We're in debt all the time. We're in debt all the time. We don't even have enough money to uh, pay back rejected uh, the people. We and and we have funds from other countries which no rejected. We have funds from other countries, uh, funds from other countries that we are trying to pay back. And uh, the government side doesn't show how the government will get money to give uh, to these people. They're just uh, saying we have this perfect world where everyone can have a child, and the government will do anything without uh, realizing, uh, uh, without realizing the. The, the things that the government has to go through to give people these uh, these uh, money, especially when it comes to financial aid. So before you degrade much. No.
So when we're talking about uh, economic instability, when the uh, rejected, when uh, the, the people are getting a free, um, if uh, people are getting free services, they would want to get free services all their life. So they will be asking the government for more money and more money and more money. When uh, the government uh, gives them uh, more money just for the, the sake of, uh, just for giving them the uh, the life uh, to the babies, then there are other things that they cannot focus on, like providing, um, uh, like they said about engineers and everything, by providing other uh, uh, rejected. Ma'am, uh, please. No. Uh, rejected. So uh, also, uh, uh, talking about the accuracy of these uh, inventions, in Nepal, the first test tube baby, it took three years it took three years of experimentation on one embryo to get actually a test tube baby out, right? So in three years, the the the, um, exper the experiment failed a lot of times. The um, uh, making of the baby failed a lot of times. And the couple who wanted the baby had to keep investing money in it. Now imagine, not all, not all, uh, in all these inventions, just because you uh, give money at one point, the, the embryo will be, um, uh, will be okay and will become a baby. You have to keep investing on it. And when the government keeps investing on one baby again and again and again, as I told, this is uh, not a, a cheap aspect as it uh, costs uh, more than 50 lakhs, as the first test you baby uh, took, more than 50 lakhs, and as the government keeps on uh, giving this money, what will the government uh, have to uh, defend as its uh, national, uh, sorry, as its uh, treasury? So, thank you.